all day I faced a barren waste without the taste of water. Cool water. Oh, Dan and I with throats burned dry and souls that cry for water. Water. Cool water. Clear water. Hi, my name's John Flynn and this is my rooftop in Culver City. Um, we just installed a brand new rain garden, so I'm going to give you a little tour of that from the eagle's eye view. I'm going to step carefully among my solar panels here. So the rain obviously collects on this nice flat roof, and there are a couple of downspouts here. One of them's right over by this corner I'm standing next to. And right behind there, there's a downspout that feeds into, at this point, feeds into a rain barrel. So you can see there's a blue rain barrel peeking around the corner there. But of course that fills up fairly quickly. So what we did was we ripped out all of the lawn. So everywhere you're going to see mulch for the next couple of minutes it used to be Bermuda grass. And it's all, that was the first thing we did was to tear out the yard, tear out, tear out the lawn, a couple of uh, trees and bushes as well, uh, and get as much of the roots as we can. Uh, and of course take out the irrigation system as well. Everything you're going to see here is not irrigated by anything aside from Mother Nature's rainfall. So the water comes down, hits that drain right there, and you can't see it, but underneath the surface, about 12 inches down right there, is a four inch pipe. It's a trench that we dug that runs the length of this walkway. Do, 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 do. I'm going to go all the way over here. And it's descending as it goes, right? So right about here, it's at about 16 inches. And then right where that yellow flag is, it turns and it cuts underneath the sidewalk. And it ends up here. So this little dry stream bed has a little cap poking up out of it. You can see that. That's the terminus of the four inch pipe. So the water is carried off the roof and down here. And by the way, right next to my right foot right now, there's another downspout, right? So there's also a, a downspout right here that feeds into those rocks. The idea being that when it rains, the water comes down here and makes its way into the bottom of this, the infiltration. And the bottom of that, by the way, is about two feet below the soil, right? And there's, uh, there's also a, a, a hole dug below that that goes down about another 36 inches or so and is lightly packed with compost. So it's, it's kind of a little drain hole that will feed water off of the roof, off of the yard, and down into the aquifer, which is about 50 feet below the surface here. So what else is there to say about this? Well, why rocks, right? Oh, there's one more feature here I didn't explain yet. So obviously this is where the water's coming in. But you notice there's also a spur over there that leads to the sidewalk. So the reason that's there is that's kind of our safety valve. If for some reason we get a torrential rain, or maybe we get a couple of days of rain, and this little indentation here fills up, I don't know if you can see it, the contours very well, but there are berms all the way around this little rock stream bed. If it totally fills up, then there is a safety valve to draw the water away from the house. Because of course the last thing we want is for it to butt up against the house and then start rotting out the foundation. And again, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a, a little berm here where these plants are that uh, sort of protects the house. The rocks are also there to um, slow the water down because, you know, rushing water obviously is very efficient at eroding stuff. And we don't want our nice little berms and stuff to be eroded away. So the, waters, or the rocks are there to slow the water down. They're also there because they're just gorgeous. They're fun to sit on as well. We have a couple of them out here for other sort of seating areas. So the last element in this garden are the plants. So we have a variety of, I think, over 14 plants here. Everything from three different kinds of sage. You know, um, we have uh, sedges. We have needle grass. We have a, a tree there, a western rosebud. We have mugwort. These are all California natives. And as I said at the beginning, there is no uh, irrigation here. So um, these plants, uh, we're feeding them right now. We're giving them a little bit of water every day, but we're gonna wean them off and within about a month, so sometime in 
June of 2015. We're going to stop watering, and they are on their own. At the moment, it looks very sort of small and tame, but of course that is going to change because I, li I like to tell people this is not so much a garden as a habitat. It is going to look wild about a year from now. So um, come back and visit us then, see how it grows up. I'm looking forward to it. Like me, I guess he'd like